that you don't know can hurt you. Hyredone.com. Welcome back to Hired Dawn. My name's Adam Healthman. We've got Jason Crane from Crane Heating and Cooling. Uh, he installs Lennox furnaces, air conditioners. So, you know, this time of year, you wake up at 64 degrees in your house and you have it set at 72. Mm-hmm. Is that the call you get? Yeah, we get lots of those, especially on a morning like this. And it, uh, now that it's just turning actually cold again after being warm for a little while, we're getting a, a fair amount of those calls. Right. So, you know, what's the number one cause of a furnace breaking down? Um, you know, I would say lack of maintenance. I mean, obviously there's parts that break on, uh, on, on furnaces from time to time and those need to be replaced, but by and large, uh, you know, large amount of our calls are, are, could be maintenance. Yeah. You know, maintenance could have. So what, what, like when you say lack of maintenance, is it just a plugged up air filter? Yeah. Well, there's lots of, with the new furnaces, there's, there's tubes that run throughout them. And if they get just a spider web in them, that can stop a, a furnace from working or a flame sensor that just hasn't been cleaned in long enough, or even just a filter that hasn't been replaced. In, uh, in a long, I always long time. do a survey. I say to people, all right, you know, when's the last time you changed a filter in your furnace? And they look at me. Um, what filter? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, I've got one of those six month ones. All right. Okay. So when, did you change it six months ago? No. <laughs> so I get it. I get it. So yeah. furnace maintenance makes all the difference. It sure does. Yep. So, like, if you have a high efficiency furnace, and high efficiency is anything above 90%. Correct. Now yep. ninety. Look, the furnace is now a ninety-five. Yeah, to really, really. Uh, I would say about seven, eight, nine years ago, when when the rebates all started to come into play, pretty much all manufacturers made their furnaces ninety-five percent and above because that's where the sweet spot is for the rebates. So okay, so high efficiency, let's say, is ninety-five percent. Sure. Yep. However, if you have a ninety-five percent efficient furnace and you've got a plugged air filter, or it hasn't been changed, let's say you have to, let's say you have the four-inch pleated Merv twenty air filter, whatever. <laughs> yep. And it's supposed to be changed every six months, mm-hmm. and you haven't changed it, and it's plugged. That will take your efficiency down. Well, take your efficiency down, and it puts in jeopardy. You know that means the furnace can't uh, can't cool itself down, and that's it's a process where the it throws out warm air and it brings in the the house air again and through the return, and it keeps the temperature in the furnace in the manufacturer specifications. And if it gets too hot, you know you're jeopardizing your heat exchanger and certainly efficiency. And then up, you know, the other way in the air conditioning makes sense. Mm-hmm. So. That's important that just just the filter alone mm-hmm. it does that. So what about um, you know maintaining proper temperature? And by the way, folks, if you have a heating cooling question, you can call us 248-539-9797. We've got Jason Crane from Crane Heating Cooling in studio. He'll answer all your heating cooling questions. But like the room above the garage or a room out of my daughter's bedroom, the closet's always frozen. Right. How do I change it? How do I balance the heat? That's a that's a great question. Actually, we are um We've got tools that we can go measure the airflow, temperature, humidity, and all these different measurements from each of the outlets in your house. So we can kind of determine, you know, what, what areas are working well and what not, and then come up with a solution to try and improve that. Sometimes those are problems that are inside the walls when it was built and ductwork. But with newer furnaces, there's technologies that can, that can increase airflow, um, even with what you currently have in your house. And, and we can certainly, you know, adjust the different ducts to, have, to move air in, the, uh, air in the appropriate areas, too. Important. That's important. So, I'm in, I'm in the mood for. I mean, I'm in the market for a furnace. Okay. There's a lot of information out there. I've got a furnace in my house that was last installed in the '80s. I got I got a, you know a furnace from the '80s and it lasted till now. That's a long time. It is. Yeah. I don't know what to look for. You know, there, it, if if someone's shopping for a furnace, you're an expert. Tell me a couple of things that everybody who's buying a new furnace should be looking for. Well, um, you know, and honestly, you've talked about this a lot over the over the years, and it's uh, you should really do your research on your contractor because, uh, you know, there, there's lots of great furnace brands out there. We're very, we're specific to Lennox, and we really like a lot of the features that they have, and that's why we support them so well, and we're loyal to them. But uh, beyond that, we do a great job of putting in the furnace, and uh, you know, if you look up your company, and there's lots of resources now online, third party type of reviews to just to make sure that your contractor has done uh, done a job well for other people. And, and there's lots of ways to look and see what people have had to say. And that's probably the most important thing is make sure it's put in right and that the experience with the contractor is going to be good. And that's important. See, folks, this is what he just said is so important. You could take the very best furnace. What's the top of line, Lennox? Uh, the SLP, it's a 98% modulating furnace. So SLP 98, okay? That's like the, the Mac Daddy furnace. If you get some schlock contractor putting it in, okay, and he doesn't do it right. 
it's worthless, right, Jason? Right. Well, if you if it's oversized um, or or undersized, but most of the time contractors oversize equipment, and then and then that modulating feature you just bought to help improve the airflow and um, fixing those rooms that aren't heating well is not gonna that's not gonna work because now the furnace that was meant to be this size so that it could modulate properly now is oversized and it can't modulate. And then if you don't have the right thermostat with it, it's not not going to even have a chance to modulate. So there's so many small features that have to be done right. Is there training from the factory that you need for? Lots of training from the factory that that helps us set everything up right, and it's uh, and it's a constant. Uh, battle to continue to stay on top of the knowledge and Lennox does a great job of giving us those opportunities. Yeah, and that's the best part about having a relationship with the manufacturer. There are heating cooling guys who just go to a supply house and say I need the cheapest furnace I can for this homeowner. Now let me just say something. I don't I don't profess to, to like that, but I don't, you know, if if you're just in the market for a replacement quick furnace, I, I can see the value of that. However, if you're living in a house and you're spending money on a new furnace, you need to make sure that the contractor you hire is putting in something that he's familiar with. Yeah, that's correct. Yep, and then so, there's a price points for for all people in in most manufacturers, including Lennox. And that's important to know. And um, so, like, like you know, looking at houses, you know, one of the one of the things Hired done is we have a, a division that flips houses. We did 65 houses last year that we flipped homes, and almost all of them had a new furnace. Mm-hmm. One of the things I notice is the old ductwork with the what they come down to attach the furnace called the boot. Yep, it's never the right size. No, it's always too small, and you have to. And especially, so what with, do you do? Do you have to? Is there a measurement? What, is there some science or technology, or it's like a formula for the the furnace blows hot air into the ductwork, folks? Where the furnace connects to the ductwork, that's is that called the boot? Is that the, the right? plenum? The, that's the plenum. plenum. On okay, top, good. The, the return air boots on the for the return air. Yep. So, what, what, is there a f- process on undoing that? How do you do? Well, that? there is. I mean, when you look at a house and when you design it, it's CFMs, cubic feet per minute. Okay. So. As you get this size furnace or this size air conditioner, that requires this many CFMs for that house. So then we have to design the ductwork, and each size ductwork comes with a different rating as to how many CFMs that that piece of ductwork can handle. So you have to size the ductwork and the return so that it can provide enough air to your house, and then obviously the runs in the different areas. And then as those runs come off, obviously there's less CFMs, and so we have to reduce that size ductwork. And so those are some customizable things when it comes to ductwork that that really help improve the the airflow so, throughout the house and that's important how many times do you go into a house and the you're going to replace the furnace but then you notice the ductwork is leaky because isn't it if you've leaky ductwork when the hair when the furnace is blowing heat to the house and it's leaking out all the joints it it becomes wor- like it ruins everything right it well it does i mean there's always going to be some leakage in a in a duct system it's impossible to make it 100% sealed but but obviously the the more sealed that we can make it the better and as you get in inside you know that inside the walls and things that you can't get to after the fact there's going to be leakage because those joints are, haven't been sealed like they they you know they seal them now with whether it be tape or mastic sealing they they seal all the joints now in any new construction and, and a right. lot of remodels you know. can you do that so if someone calls you up and says listen my furnace is working fine but i know the ductwork's leaking everywhere can they can they call you for a service call and you can inspect that oh yes for sure yeah we can come take a look and see uh how accessible everything is and how much we can get to and honestly if it if we can't get enough of it to make it worth your while we'll tell you that but uh obviously if we can access most of your ductwork that's certainly something we can do so we're talking with jason crane from crane heating and cooling jason if someone wants to get a hold of you give them a phone number they can call you yep uh, our phone number in the office is 734-469-5180 and they can also get us at our uh, website where you can fill out a form and we, if, if email is better for you, at, um, it's www.cranehvac.com. Crane is C-R-A-I-N. And then you're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. and uh, So here's one of the things I want to mention about Jason Crane. Besides the fact that you and I have known each other since 2005. Correct, yeah. And here's what, one of my first memories of Jason. I got so excited when I had a meeting with him in 2005 with Hire It Done was because his office was right next to Bates Hamburger. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> five, five in middle, was it Five in Farmington? Farmington, Five in Farmington, oh. yeah. And I, and the whole meeting, I'm sitting with him, and I'm like, this, I, I made this, I remember it perfectly. I'm like, okay, I don't want to be late for the appointment, but I got to have some food. And then I said to myself, I pulled into the Bates parking lot. Mm-hmm. You can smell it. Yeah, I smelled it, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, I better not eat this because I'm going to walk into his <laughs> office, and I'm going to smell like sliders. <laughs> so then I went to you, and I remember your office, I remember meeting your mom, your dad, and then you, and we were talking about Hyrton, and all I could think about is, you know, am I going to get doubles? Because <laughs> Bates, when you order a, a double. It's a six-pack. Yeah. It's a six-pack. When you order a double of Bates, it's sesame seed buns. Oh. <laughs> and then if you had singles, they're not. Right. That's a little fat guy trick. I just know that. <laughs> 
So then I couldn't concentrate on our meeting. Mm -hmm. However, you became a higher done contractor. Yeah, anyway, right. <laughs> We've been killing it ever, <laughs> We've been killing it ever since. Right. Um, but one of the things I want to mention is a lot of times homeowners ask me, all right, Adam, you know, you, you find these good contractors and, you know, I know if I'm getting a new furnace, I should get multiple bids and this and that. And I agree. Listen, you go, it's okay, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, if you're going to buy a furnace, it's okay to say yes to the first guy if you're comfortable with him. One of the things that makes Crane uh, HVAC different is that you guys kill everybody when it comes to ratings and and responses from your homeowners. Like I, I look at it and I'm like, everybody raves about you. What what's going on here? Yeah, well, I mean, we're very cognizant of the fact that it's important that we treat our our customers with the utmost respect and and our our. our Really, our whole purpose in our marketing campaign is to do a great job for our customers and then give them the opportunity to talk about it so that we can, you know, let the other people know that this right. is how we handle our customers, every five single one of them. Five-star rating. If, there was high, if you could go up or above five, you would get it. It's, it's amazing to me. And by the way, folks, he just we did a flip house in uh, Wyandotte. You guys killed it. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, but I remember, because I called in the order, mm -hmm. the follow-through between you and yeah all the ladies in the office we send the ladies in the uh, office I mean, we send emails one. this is yeah. the name of the guy showing up with yeah, a pic whoa right marlon i think it was yep marlon was out there yeah shout out to marlon good job <laughs> so real quickly what are some of the signs that a furnace needs to be replaced it explodes when it, when it turns <laughs> well on. obviously if it's exploding you're going to want to uh replace it but but other than that if it doesn't heat your house well or if your utility bills are high or if it's on and off a lot that's called short cycling and and that can be a sign that things are starting to go. And it's just there's uh, there's so many opportunities now with uh, rebates and efficiencies and the technologies in furnace to to really even the heat throughout your house and things that you didn't even know was avail you know were available to keep keep you comfortable, whether it be humidity or heat or cooling. There's just lots of different options out there. All right, let's go to the phones. We got a question from Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike needed. You there, Mike? Hello. Mike's got his phone on. He doesn't even realize. All right. Well, Mike, you'll have to call back. Mike said heating his house. Should you turn the furnace when you're turn the temperature down when you're away during I, the day? Yes. I mean, as long as you're going to be away, I would say for six to eight hours, I think it's definitely advisable to turn it down. And uh, and uh, opposite from the summertime, though, we have that conversation a lot. I think that in the wintertime, it's definitely advisable to turn the heat down when you're not when you go to bed or when you're at work for a length of time. If it's a shorter period of time and I don't think it's worth your while but if it's six to eight hours I think it's definitely worth your while in the summertime I would leave the temperature the same wherever you're comfortable at pretty much all the time so if somebody you know you know gets a little anxiety when they say oh programmable thermostat I've got one but I don't program I don't even know what I want can they call you and you can come over and program it is it oh, like yeah, a, certainly. so yeah. like you should marry that with like a furnace tune-up yeah that would be great I mean that's actually probably the most cost-effective way to do that <laughs> is to, to tune up your furnace and then just have us look and help you with your uh, with your thermostats at that same time and that's important. All right, so um, Internet of Things. Just mm -hmm. let's talk about technology as we wrap things up. Nest, Wi-Fi. You know, everyone says, oh, I, you know, the DTE has the app. It tells you, you know, how much you're saving and this and that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get anxiety over that and they don't know how to use that. Can they call your company and you guys can then put together a plan on how to take the furnace, the thermostat, your Internet, and everything combined so that, they have a house that actually saves money. Oh, certainly. Yep. And we can show them a plan that's going to get them to an efficient point. They have thermostats now that they can control their, you know, Ness is just one of the brands, but, uh, you know, that you can control your, your house from your phone. So you can kind of monitor that if you're away, even if you don't want to program it, but program it, but you can set it, you know, you're at work and you can turn it on before you, before you come home. And that way it saves you from having to program it if you're not exactly sure when you're going to, you know, leave or come home. And a lot of people's schedules aren't as regular. So, uh, so you could do that, you know, on the fly. Okay, and that's important, and I wasn't sure. So um, as we wrap it up, because you're, you're on your way to the home show. I am, yep. What are some of the deals and specials for people who are listening who don't can't get to the home show but need furnace, air conditioning, yeah. humidifiers, whatever it takes? We have some great ones out there. So uh, <clears throat> just for the next uh, next month, so from the home show through the end of February, we're offering uh, up to $1,500, and really most of the time it is $1,500 off the purchase of a furnace and air conditioner together, Lennox, of course. And then we're also, in a, we're also offering, if you just need a furnace, um, a free Wi-Fi thermostat we just talked about, and or um, a filter or humidifier, both Linux as well. And you will set it up for the homeowners so they don't have to worry about it. Yeah, no, we do all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jason Crane from Crane Heating and Cooling. 
Thank you a hundred times for coming on. Oh, thanks for I having appreciate me. It. Do me a favor. Say hi to your mom and dad. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Are they listening? That's right. They they're should the best. be. They better them. be. <laughs> I'm hoping. They're the be- Listen, they're the greatest people ever. So right. tell them, shout out to them. It was good to see your dad last night as well. Yeah. Go see Jason at the home show today. Tell him you heard it on Hire It Done. Let them know how much you love me. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thanks for coming on, my friend. All right. Thanks for having me. All right, folks. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm going to talk about home improvement, how to hire a contractor, how to fire a contractor, how to find a roofer, one that has one, the roof that won't leak. It's pretty simple, right? Or is it? I'm Adam Helfman. We'll be right back.